Mages use balls like this to communicate over long distances. Master Marcus explained it to me. He'll know how I can tame those unruly students. It can't be healthy in the long run for Friedelin to always eat parchment and old scrolls. Perhaps he'd like the pet food I bought. The entire school building is a bit scary. No one knows exactly where it was the last 20 years. It disappeared overnight and then reappeared just as suddenly once the war ended. There's a lot of magic in these old walls. The stove is always on, for example, and even though I've never put any wood in it. This is Friedlin, my rabbit sheep. I had to cast the transformation spell during my mage training. And this is the result. The bed is pretty cosy. It's so cosy that Friedlin is curled up in it. But that's okay, friends share. And he lets me sleep at the foot end. So, what was that number again? Six, four, seven, three, one. Hello. Ah! Oh, wrong number! like this before I ever moved in. Generations of teachers must have left their stuff here. I like it. The school has a history and when I have time I'll rummage through it. Ah, my wand. The King of Thieves got it for me during my mage training. He and the other rats have been tirelessly helping to rebuild the city in recent months. They work closely with the Archmage, albeit mostly in secret. I still haven't figured out exactly how it works. Sometimes it performs the most amazing magic, and sometimes it can't even perform the simplest of tasks. Archmage Alistair has promised to have a look at it sometime. Maybe it has a loose connection or something. These are the aviator goggles that my granddad gave me before my first trip to Seastone. Well, a pair of aviator goggles. The original pair was lost when Grandad fired me out of the cannon. Master Marcus and the Archmage were so busy rebuilding the city that no one had the opportunity to teach me anything about teaching. This box was in a shop window down in the city. I thought it might be useful. After all, there are children with magic wands on it. But unfortunately, it just seems to be a bunch of those tricks. Like that old one with Mr. Wupperman, the top hat and the rabbit. This has to be the oldest shoe I've ever seen. It's so old, it's even lost its ability to stink. Short white rope, a pair of dice, playing cards, and a guide on how to lead people up the garden path. That's just not right. Real magic or none at all. I think we make a good team. A young maid and rabbit sheep fighting side by side as a force for good. Unfortunately, Friedlin doesn't do much other than lay in bed and eat. I still have to convince him it's important. Okay, we'll do it like this. I'll give you some delicious pet food and you give me my notebook back. Okay, buddy? Right, me first. Okay, now give me my notebook, please. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Hmm, 
Maybe I can lure Fridlin away from my notepad. That's it. That's all there is. Hey, Fridlin, look! Food! All you have to do is hop over here and get it. Wow! My rabbit sheep has superpowers. But now the food is gone and Fridlin is still hungry. Ah, no wonder I didn't do it right. It says, space-saving instant dry food. Soak in water before feeding. Ah. Wow. A bowl of fresh, cool water for my roommate. There's no way I'm taking a bowl with me. I mean, how am I supposed to put a bowl of water into my pocket without getting my robe soaking wet? It's not like I can just carry anything around. Use the bowl here in the room. How about some water to wash the food down? That's what I thought. It's pretty dry, right? See how well I take care of you? Then maybe we could talk about my notebook. Um, uh, I'll, um, I'll read the instructions next time, promise. Sorry. It says, Master Marcus, only in emergencies, 64179. This is definitely an emergency. I'm losing my students' respect before I even had it. Well, six, four, one, seven, and, um, nine. Hopefully this will work this time. Yes? Hello? Master Marcus! Wilbur, what is it? Well, there's this boy who's naughty and cheeky and he doesn't listen to me. Wilbur, you're a teacher now. Of course the students are naughty and outrageous. You have to assert yourself. I've only been a teacher for a few days and I'm all alone. And the school is eerie and there's no textbooks and no one wants to learn anything and... Wilbur, no one expects you to be the perfect teacher right away. Wake your students' enthusiasm for magic. That would be a good start. How can I inspire my students? I don't know anything about the history of magic. Obviously not. Otherwise you would know that you'll never attract anyone with that subject. But it's in the curriculum. Oh, bugger the curriculum. Do what you're good at. Cast spells. Fill them with wonder. Make them want to be able to do the same. But, but I, I don't know how. Wilbur, you conjured a sheep out of a hat, and you didn't know how to do that either. Go out there and knock them dead. Let the magic do the work. You may not know what you're doing, but you're doing it. Just do some magic. Just do some magic. Your brother called me a natural talent. I am really quite good at magic, right? You did some incredible things during your training. I just wish I could control the magic better. Sometimes it just bubbles out of me and other times, nothing. Mm, I think that will come with time. And if not, you will have to rely on your ingenuity. Why do I have to teach here all alone? Why aren't there any other teachers? Many majors died during the war. There were only a few of us left. And most of those who survived are now pursuing more lucrative activities. Alchemy, ghost hunting, children's birthday parties. But, but training new mages is important. If the rest are just out for the gold, then who will take care of the next generation? Being a teacher is an important and honourable task, Wilbur, even when others fail to appreciate that. If it's such an important task, why aren't you teaching at the school? Ah, uh, politics. My brother is the Archmage, and he's in the middle of an election campaign. If he were to give his own brother a job, well, his 
Ben's opponents would just love that. But I'm not angry. I did my part. I trained mages when no one else would. And I found the most talented gnome mage the world has ever seen. Apparently there was a powerful gnome mage a long time ago. Did he kill any dragons? According to legend, the last of the great dragons, Grema, was defeated by a gnome. That's the one I mean. What, what was that gnome's name? No one knows. He arrived at a time of great need and saved the people of the Southlands by accomplishing the impossible. Then he disappeared without a trace. Wow. But one of my students asked me for his name. Then he probably wanted to lead you up the garden path. Some students want to find your weaknesses and see how far they can go. Don't take any guff. Thanks for your help, Master Marcus. I'll get through the lesson one way or another, and now I'll get back in touch, OK? Uh, sorry, but no, Wilbur. You caught me packing. I'm off to spend two exciting weeks with a couple of friends. What, you... you, you got on vacation? Well, now? Maybe it's more than just a holiday. I sold the mage school, as you know. I want to start something new. Finally do what I really want to do. Role-playing games. Role-playing games? Live role-playing games. They start in a few days. We leave the normal world of magic, monsters and dungeons behind and immerse ourselves in a fantasy world. I play a removals contractor who is caught in a traffic jam with his truck and must therefore spend a night in a motel. Can you imagine what adventures could be waiting there for me? But I, I thought being a teacher was really important and... That it is. Have fun. And Marcus. Hello? Come on, Wilbur. You can do it. You can inspire your students. That's better. So what about the magic runes? No one knows the name of the gnome that defeated Grandma. Nice try. Feet off the desk, or I'll make it bite them off. Enough with history of magic, let's cast some spells. Fairy games doesn't sound bad, right? Impossible! Not bad, eh? Wow! That is magic, and here you can learn how to control it. That's it for today. Tomorrow we'll do... Something else. Uh! Oh, sorry, honey. Get rid of that, will you? I need a word with Mr. Weathervane. Mr. Weathervane. Nice to finally meet you in person. And you are? <laughs> How very precious. I rather thought it'd be wise to watch out for you, Mr. Weatherbane. Um, why watch out for me? You only play the innocent little country yokel. I always knew that. Your patron, Archmage Alistair, will not win the election against me. Did you know that we're only three points behind him in the latest polls? Um, no, I, I wasn't aware of that. How may I help you? Help me? Ha! <laughs> One of the Archmage's top men wants to help me. <laughs> you know how the game is played, don't you, Withervane? What, what game? Things are heating up. The house of cards is starting to collapse. I know it, and Alistair knows it too. We both lie low, waiting for the other to make a mistake. 
and he has made the first. I'd rather play solitaire. Or can I just watch? Huh, well said, Weathervane. This time, there can be no spectators. Everyone is either for us or against us. This time, it's about the future of this town and the entire country. What mistake did the Archmage make? He hired you. A gnome with a fake diploma issued by none other than the Archmage's brother Marcus. I earned my diploma honestly. I have passed all three of the exams and... Gnomes know nothing of magic. Everyone knows that. And you've never taught before. But, but Archmage Alistair believes in me. As the head mage, he appoints the professors. But I'm the merchant council leader and I assign the administrative posts. Headmaster Block will reveal your incompetence and the newspapers will report on the Archmage's dubious personnel policy before the election. You shouldn't have just shot my fairy. <laughs> Do not underestimate me, Mr Weathervane. I am very well aware that those are not fairies. Cobalus Vagastus, flying kobolds. Don't tell me you conjured them up yourself. Yes, I did. All five of them. Amazing. Powerful magic is needed to manifest living creatures. That is why most necromancers only reanimate skeletons. Dead matter can be much more easily controlled, as of course you know. Or should know. The new headmaster. Who is he? Horatius Block. A good man. Very correct and very strict. If, if he can help this school return to its former glory, I look forward to working with him. Former glory? This old ruin, it was already run down back in my day. And wherever it was for the last 20 years, it definitely looks like they didn't have any cleaners. My friend, Archmage Alistair, is better suited to bring the city and the country back into shape than anyone else. Oh, you believe that? He is a great mage. Anyone who doubts that is mad. And he was a great leader during the war, most of the time. But what we need now is someone who understands the economy. And that's you? I am a rich and successful merchant. I have rich and successful friends. Who could be better suited to making others rich and successful? Alistair would step down for you if he believed that. You know what? I actually believe you're right. Strange, isn't it? How little he worries about defending his power. So I guess it's all been said, hasn't it? Indeed. You're on a sinking ship, Weathervane. But I could still be convinced to throw you a life preserver. I trust the Archmage. Then, Mr Weathervane, you shall perish with him. Here, elect Sybil Van Buren. She knows how to get it done. Come along, honey. We're leaving. There aren't any of these in my book of fairy tales, Mama. I know, honey. Who wants to look at something that ugly? Can you turn him into a unicorn? Or the Cheshire Cat? Or the Frog Prince? Remy! If it isn't our newest professor. How was your first class, Wilbur? And then? Then I asked your brother what I should do, and he advised me to do some magic. 
So I, I conjured up some cobbles and I think the students liked it. Ah, well done. That's the right thing to do. You've already pretty much won the battle, Wilbur. Once they want to learn, they will. What brings you to the school? I wanted to pay Horatius Bloch, the new headmaster, a first visit and see how the school's doing. That's very nice of you. But don't you have more important things to do? Well, it's my old school. I once walked these halls as a child myself. What the Archmage doesn't want to tell you is that something is wrong here. For a few days she has sensed the presence of something evil. What do you mean you sense something evil? Everything we do and think leaves a trace. You know how you sometimes shudder when you enter a place where great evil has been done? Dark magic leaves a particularly strong trace. Like a bad smell. And it smells like dark magic around here? I first felt it a few days ago. First in the lower town, then in the upper town. And now here, at the school. Where did it come from? I mean... Do you know who's responsible? I don't. The trace dissipates. There is too much wild magic in the air here at the school. We must keep our eyes open at all times. Good detective work will serve us better in this case than some hocus pocus. So, so what's he like, the new headmaster? He's no mage, that's for certain. He is an agent of the council leader. First and foremost, he is a reliable official with principles, Remy. The council leader of the merchants did appoint him, and he may advocate her policies. Yet I do not believe he will conspire against us. He is stern, but upright. Did you see the way he looked at me? Like I was vermin? No, I tell you. The council leader has hired him for one reason and one reason only. He is supposed to make life difficult for our Wilbur here. Am I being set up to fail so they can put the blame on you, Archmage? Ah, if that's their plan, then they have already lost. I think I'll go see the Headmaster. Goodbye, Archmage. Bye, Remy. Goodbye, Wilbur. Don't let them intimidate you. I'll do my best, and I won't give up. I know. You go on ahead. I'll be along in a minute. I want to talk to you in private. There are problems. That bit about dark magic all over the city does not sound good. It's not just that. I think the Archmage's life is in danger. What? There was an attack, or there may have been one. Alistair and Sissi was a coincidence, but how often do heavy gargoyles just break off the mage tower when he's standing below them? I have assigned as many rats as I can spare to guard him, but you must also keep your eyes open, Wilma. Me! Not only is something going on in the city, something is happening in the school too. We need information. We need to find out who is behind all this. I hear Alistair has finally appointed you head of the Secret Service. From King of Thieves to High Public Office, eh? Absolutely. Made quite a stir. It is the first time a rat has ever officially held an official government position. More than a few are of the opinion that with so many humans out of work, rats should not receive any jobs at all. But nobody knows the city like you rats do. You really helped me out during my last adventure. You brought me potion ingredients and my fantastic magic wand. And you saved Timmy and my entire clan from starvation. We'll never forget that, Wilbur Weathervane. Then, then it's best I talk to the headmaster and ask him what I should do for him. Whatever it is, just do it and act inconspicuous. But keep your eyes open for anything unusual while you do so. Well, things that look unusual even in an enchanted maze. Uh, got it. Why don't we meet down at the inn after work? Then we can exchange news. Oh, I just hope Headmaster Block doesn't keep me busy all night. Oh, you'll be fine. You defeated the Shadow Army, never forget that. Yeah, just back then I wasn't alone.
Master Block. Ah, Professor Weathervane. There you are at last. I have some tasks for you. I look forward to us working together. I'll be frank, Professor Weathervane. You have a mage diploma, but have not completed the tests required in order to work as a teacher. Attested credentials, a written application, nothing. You are only here on the Archmage's recommendation. That's right! But there's currently a shortage of mages, and everyone must do their best. Do their best is well and good. But it does not replace the formal and mandatory training for teachers of higher magic. But the Archmage Alistair trusts me to teach here at the school. Well, yes. Mages have a well-known penchant for chaos. I'm still trying to get an overview. The records management in this school defies description. Council Leader Van Buren wants to reorganize this educational institution and finally bring structure into the place, and she has my full support. Correct management of the teaching records must once again become the teaching staff's primary task. That is the only possible way to institute efficient control of learning and teaching methods. I may have no formal training as a teacher, but I managed to thrill my students in the very first hour. I performed a spell, and you could really see the way they caught fire. Not literally, of course. It wasn't a fire spell or anything of that sort. You performed a spell? Yes. And now they want to learn to do the same. They want to learn. According to my records, history of magic was on the syllabus. Yes, but... Professor Weathervane, crucial to our success in teaching is that we provide students with a stable, reliable framework and adhere to the curriculum exactly. Yes, but the students... Had you enjoyed proper training, you would have known that. I will note this failure in your file, and in the future you will stick to the curriculum, dear colleague. You, you, you mentioned tasks earlier, Headmaster? Yes, you have two tasks. As you know, the Archmage is coming early tomorrow to officially inaugurate the school. Important political and business personages will be attending, and as you can assumedly see, the school is not in a presentable condition. Council Leader Van Buren has hired a caretaker, but he cannot do the work alone. Your tasks are to help him clean the floor in the entrance hall and remove the cobwebs by tomorrow. You want me to sweep the hall and get rid of the cobwebs? Is that really my job as a teacher? Yes, indeed. A school is a team endeavor, so that means you have to do what I tell you. If, if you told me to get rid of the flying cobbles, that I would have understood. What did you say? Flying cobbles? Uh... If there are flying cobbles infesting the place, they must be got rid of too. See to it, Weathervane. Floor, cobwebs, flying cobbles, fix them. And apart from cleaning, what else is there to do? The inventory has revealed that a number of items of school property have gone missing. Among other things, the school library. The whole library has gone missing? That is correct. I asked the Archmage about the matter and he confirmed to me that the room was there before. He does not know where it is now. He said something about its being in hiding, perhaps, or away traveling. I think it's unseemly. I want that room. We are a school and we need a library. Agreed. But where should I start looking? That I cannot tell you. You are the mage. You ask a lot. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if I can get all this done by tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning? You have until 72 o'clock. 72 o'clock? I have developed my own efficient metric system of measuring time. A day has a hundred hours, consisting of a hundred minutes, with a hundred seconds each. Everything else is too confusing. 
So, um, I don't even have until tomorrow morning. For a properly qualified teacher, even the impossible poses no problem. Or should I note in your file that you do not feel up to the tasks assigned you? No, I'll... Oh, I'll do it. Very good. And then you can call it a day and prepare tomorrow's lessons. One thing's clear. Headmaster Block wants me to fail, but I won't disappoint the Archmage. And secondly, I like this school. And a school library would be great for the students. And third, the work the Headmaster has given me is the perfect opportunity to keep my eyes open for Remy. A nice pair of bellows. They really get a fire going. When my family wanted to forge something at home, I was in charge of the bellows. You are the most important gnome in this matter, they often used to say to me. It says, Fireplace Travel Network Map. It shows a lot of fat black dots connected by lines. Above each of the dots is a name. Sea Stone, Mage Tower, Entrance Hall, Coaching Inn, Fox's Den, uh, and many more. Three animal symbols are located beneath each of the dots. I've heard about this. Wizards use a powder to travel through the fire in one fireplace to the fire in another. Of course, this doesn't just work with any fireplace. It must be on the fireplace travel network. And this plan shows which fireplaces are connected to which. Oh, a display case documenting the achievements of pupils of the school. Some sports trophies, pictures of slain dragons, pupils in front of smouldering pots. Mm, Pride of Place seems to go to a trophy one in a broom ball tournament. This must be the best clock in the world. Most only have two or three hands. This one has at least ten. A neat pile of firewood. More than enough to make a decent fire. Oh, how pretty. A swan folded from a piece of paper. This is origami, an ancient elf art form. The dwarven word for this art form means something like pointy ears build dust catches out of paper because they can't deal with stone. I'd better not touch the swan. It looks quite delicate. <laughs>